Game, set, match. Welcome, Welcome to, to your, your daily, daily serve of M&Ms. M&Ms. I didn't do it properly. But what? I didn't do it properly. I mumbled. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm Michael. I'm Maria. And we're going to keep this short. It's midnight. we got shit to do tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, welcome back. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to give my information very quickly. Go for it. So, Vixens, we lost in the Suncorp Super Netball Grand Final. Bloody Vixens, come on. I believe on. by a point or two. It was close. I think it was two points. What? Um, you know what? I really can't remember now. It was close. Um, I actually thought it was one point, to be honest. Well, it was one or two. Right. And in the... Um, so now, Best of Fairest... Uh, a goal shooter. What's her name? Kirasta. She got... Best and Ferris? Yeah. Fair enough. For the league or just for the club? Or the club. Just the club? The club, yeah. Does the league do awards like that? Like MVP for the league? Or... Yeah. Um, Janine Fowler always wins. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. She's like won like the last five or something like that. She's so dominant. I don't know if she's really dominant. She's just advantage, right? Like... I mean, granted, you know, I guess if you want to consider that dominance, but it's like, it's almost like a cheat code. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? She's dominant. <laughs> she's dominant. Anyways. Uh, and Bulldogs land was seventh on the ladder, I think. Yeah, I believe that's right. We lost to Adelaide. Yep. Crows. In Adelaide. Uh, it's Adelaide. Who cares? Um, Australia finished fourth in the Olympics with, I think, 18 gold medals. So Nice. Well, third for a long time. Because I think it was the, the aim was for Australia was to be in the top five, and we did it, so. Fair enough. We might move it to top three. And most of our gold was by women, so. It was. Yeah, the ladies. Woo, ladies. And a lot of stuff happened at Paris, but that's a different topic for another time. <laughs> Yeah, no, Paris was a hot mess. Just a little pa- bit. Paris. Not like... That's a different podcast for another time. Alright, we'll do it on the weekend. <laughs> okay. Like just the podcast be everything wrong with Paris and the fix. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, well, I actually was kind of thinking, maybe we'll do this podcast in parts. So we'll do part one tonight and we'll do part two over the weekend. Okay. Yeah? <clears throat> okay, do you have your news? Do I have my news? Um, my news is, uh, well, Essendon, um, <laughs> Essendon sucks. <laughs> it's not even close. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just, nah. I, I don't really want to talk about it. Like... So why did you bring it up? Because I need to talk about it, but I don't <laughs> want to. Right? Sitting second on the ladder, middle of the season... And then we just go down and down and down and down. Just to give a bit of context as to what's happened with Essendon as well. Going into the bye for us, which I think was round 14. Essendon were 8. I was doing this today. I actually have the, the spreadsheet up. And I'll probably present my findings shortly. Um, but yeah, Essendon were eight, four, and one going into the bye. So eight wins, four losses, a draw. Coming out of the bye, Essendon are three wins and five losses. Nice. (sighs) And just to, you know, contextualize these losses, we lost to, um... We lost to Adelaide, Adelaide Crows. We lost to... Same. Yeah, I know. We lost to St Kilda. I don't think so. I don't think... I don't know. No, I don't think so. Um, We lost to Gold Coast as well. Gold Coast, who have the worst away record in the league, like, comfortably. Um, I mean, like... 
even over the last two years, they've got the worst away record. <laughs> nice. It's their first win on the road in two years. Nice. That's how bad we are. We. S- so I'm really upset with that. Um, like, imagine if we won those three. Instead of being a 3-5 th- and five record coming out of the bye, no. that's a 6-2 and two record coming out of the bye. Nice. I don't ask for much. I just ask. You don't for... ask for. <laughs> I guess ask for a top four. At least get us one finals campaign. <laughs> Anyways, Essen still has a very slim glimmer of hope. Um, going into finals, we're sitting tenth. Um, and in other AFL news. Hawthorne have cracked the eight from starting, you know, well, sorry, not starting, but from um, from being as low as second bottom on the ladder, they've climbed their way back up into the top eight. They are amazing. They are just, they're, they're the best team in the league. <clears throat> and I don't even think it's really close. But yeah, um, yeah. So, Collingwood, Carlton, Essendon, the big three like powerhouse clubs. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they were all sitting top eight like middle of the season. Now they've fallen off the radar. They're all out of the eight. <laughs> Crazy season. And you know what else? I think they were saying five of the top eight teams are interstate. It's going to happen eventually. Yeah. So you've got Sydney, Port Adelaide, um, Geelong, GWS, uh, Brisbane, Fremantle, Bulldogs, Hawthorne. Nice. That is a great list, isn't it? Literally Geelong, Bulldogs, and Hawthorne. You know what's funny though? I feel like I'm rooting for those teams this year. Like I, you know, like my top three of all, it's always been Essendon, uh, Geelong, and Bulldogs. Right? If n- none of those three teams make it, I'm not even interested. <laughs> Yet, I'm I, I'm loving Hawthorne because of how fun they are to watch. <laughs> Like, I can't take my eyes off them. They're so good. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the, the ladder situation and all these interstate teams? I couldn't care less. Couldn't care less? Couldn't care less. Just Bulldogs? I don't want to be in the top eight. I don't want to... No. I don't want to be there. Yeah, fair enough. All good. Anyways, did you want to talk about any other AFL-related news? No. What? You don't want to talk about, you know... Do you want to talk about something? Yeah, I think we need to talk about the retirements. <laughs> okay. So, earlier this week... Um, no, not this week. Like, last week, I guess... Um, Dustin Martin, as well as, um, Tom Hawkins, they've both, uh, called it quits, um, at the end of the season. Um, Dusty, I think he's playing his farewell game in round 24. Um, he won't be, I don't think he's playing round 23, I don't believe, but maybe I'm wrong. Um... And Tomahawk is just, you know, coming off injury, basically. Um, so, but he'll be in finals, without a doubt. Um, uh, someone else. Was it West Coast? No idea. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was a West Coast player. Now I can't remember. Now I can't even get the name. Um... Who was it? It's going to drive me nuts now. Um, and then in recent shocking news, 
literally announced just today. Um, my heart is literally breaking. Um, You'll be fine. I really won't. You'll be D- fine. Dyson Heppel is announcing you'll, his retirement. You'll be fine. And I don't know how I'm going to survive. You'll, you'll survive. You're fine. I don't think you understand what this is like for Essendon fans, right? <laughs> okay. We had... Just, just to contextualise this, all right? We had Job Watson, right? Mm-hmm. Retired, never got a flag, right? Yeah. We have Dyson Heppel, retiring, probably not going to get a flag. Have you met Bob Murphy? Okay, but I'm just saying... Like, these are two of the... Job Watson, son of the great Tim Watson. Bob Murphy, you know, we have Brad Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I get that... Ted you know, Witten. Look, I get that there's a lot of players that don't get... Um, a lot. Premiership like, probably flags. Probably 90%. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a bunch of them that don't get flags, right? Um... But you know, tough luck, but luck next season. But you know, at least a finals win, at least one. <laughs> but anyways, um, who is this bloke that I can't think of from the Eagles? It must have been what? important. <laughs> Mustn't have been important. Yeah, no, nah, guy sucked. It was terrible. Um, duh, 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 duh. Who was it? Oh my goodness, I'm. Uh, Hang on. Um, AFL retired. Retirement's 2024. Uh, Announce their retirements. More news. Give me the news. I need to see this. Um, Veteran Eagle. Who is this bloke? Oh, Andrew Gaff. Yep. Andrew Gaff's announced his retirement no, as well. That is. Oh, if you see the face, you'll probably recognise him. Probably not. Probably not. Um, those who do know, yeah, you know, he's he's been pretty good. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what to make of... Do you have any other news? No, I'm just going to cry because... Okay. Dreadlock Maybe, Heppel um, is... Out. Okay. <laughs> he was great. He was <laughs> so good. Is this just going to be all about Dyson Heffel now? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Dyson Heffel podcast. I should find out if he's got a podcast. I'd probably listen to it. He probably doesn't. What? Probably doesn't. He probably doesn't. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy that... No, he doesn't. No, he really doesn't. He just looks like he stays in bed all day when he's not no. training. <laughs> Remember how good he looked with the dreads? I know. Those dreads were amazing. Like, you know, some I people know. get dreads and they just look dreadful. Do you remember when Yeah. I have a story. I have a story. So oh. I think this was back when I was playing junior squash. We had a like a training like a training camp thing for the week with um Paul Price. Oh yeah. That was done in Hunts, which is in... Fitzroy? Yeah. Yeah. We did, like, a running thing. And a, and uh, Essendon were doing it at the same time. So I'm like, Dustin Happer was in front of me. Oh, was he? <laughs> <laughs> running. I was just like, okay, cool. <laughs> Lol. That's kind of funny. You should have been like, hey, Heppel, can you play squash? I'm planning to, you know, um, meet this awesome dude. He's going to be an Essendon fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because if I could, if I knew the future. Yeah, come on. Up no. your game, will you? No. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways. Um, cool. Any other news, Beb? No. No? No? Nothing? No. Absolutely nothing. Mm, it's bedtime. <laughs> Fair enough. It's going to be a low effort, low energy kind of podcast <laughs> fair enough um 
Yeah. I, I didn't even tip last week. I let sports bet do it for me. <laughs> you had a lot of stuff to focus on. Yeah. But yeah, did you want to elaborate more on what happened last week? Next or time. last weekend? Next, Next time. time. Yeah, not Next now. Next time. Not now. I want to get to bed, but... Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, a few other announcements. Um, kind of coming back to the, the um, Olympics topic. Um I saw a thing on Instagram talking about uh, the new sports that are going to be added to the 2028 Olympics. Squash. Lacrosse? Yeah, that's basically all we've... I know there's lacrosse, there's squash. Let me see if I can find it. There's cricket. All right, you just... How about you just do it all? I don't care anymore. No, this is from the top of my head. There's, There's something else. Squash, lacrosse, flag football. That's boring. There's something else. That's going to be dreadful. Cricket... Baseball and softball. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I was forgetting. Yeah. Um, like, honestly, I feel like only America would, would have chosen those sports just because they've literally got, like, institutions for them. Do you know what I mean? Like, France was probably never going to play, like, baseball or softball, <laughs> if we're being honest. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't think they were going to be playing cricket. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know about lacrosse. It sounds Frenchy, but I don't know if it's a French. Have you originate. seen lacrosse? Like, you, what do you mean? Like, okay, we it's watched... super popular in America. That's what I know. <laughs> we have Australian national team. Yeah, I know that Lucky we play. Lucky Hunter's it. mum and sister play. Okay, I know that we play it in Australia as well, but it's super popular. Like. Probably a good ten times more popular in America. Everything is. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, they've got the best, like, institute. Like, honestly. And they still America, can't get free healthcare. It's because they expect Sick you to dude. pick up a sport. <laughs> With what money? <laughs> I get an injury, I'm done. <laughs> ACL? No, I'm not playing ever again. I love how you're like. I get an injury, I'm done, and here I am, like, complaining about all the injuries I've got, but I'm still going. <laughs> no, like, I'm talking about in America. If I did my ACL in America, I'm not, no. I'm not paying that. That's alright, it'll heal back. No, I'm not going to doctors. Like, in Australia, if you go to doctors, like, $80. I'm like, no, I'm not going there ever again. <laughs> no. Not until I can find a free... <laughs> to, to, to clinic. Free. Yeah, just it's got to be free. <laughs> just, I'm not going back. For what? Mm-hmm. I didn't choose to be here. Lol. But yeah. Um, so yeah, no, I feel like, you know, the idea is that America is choosing these sports because they think they can win. Probably squash is like the only one they're, they're, not, not winning, they're really not going to win. It's <laughs> going to be... Egypt. I mean, you know, maybe Amanda Sobe could carry no. the women's, but I just kind of doubt it. You know, Shabini is Shabini's going to be there. <laughs> Goa's going to be there. Um, El Hamami will be there. <laughs> Granted, it'll be fun to watch, but yeah. like they're just going to they are going to dominate. But so how was at the Olympics? What for? Her partner's a fencer. Where's her partner from? Egypt? Egypt. My goodness. So, like... I mean, like, I get that fencing is, like, a very Englishy, poshy sort of thing, but, yeah. like... Well, can I tell you something about the Olympics? Go. So, Americans, you know, they won basketball gold, right? Yeah. They're like, are we all champions yet? <laughs> That's not how that works, but... The Olympian champion. Champions, but, like, not... World cha- That's not how world championships work. I don't get it. I don't know what's so confusing about it. I don't know why they are so confused. Like, the world champions of Germany. They like, calm down. Mm. Nah, fair enough. But yeah, the, um. Yeah, I. Like I said, America's probably just taken these. Predominantly these sports like lacrosse, baseball, 
flag football, whatever else I said there was. I've already forgotten. Wasn't there like baseball? Too? That's right. I said baseball, softball. Oh, oh cricket. Lacrosse. Cricket. They're probably not going to win cricket, but the other three, I think they're probably going to be the the home favourites. Yeah. Three slash four, right? Like, they're going to have medals for baseball and then medals for softball. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like the same people are playing baseball than softball. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's luck. So, yeah. I mean, granted, they did baseball, softball at the Tokyo, Tokyo yeah. Olympics. That was kind of fun. A lot of lesbians. And softball. Actually, I think the two that were two countries that were playing for gold, they, there was like a couple playing for each. On the softball teams? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Playing against each other. I'm trying to think who would have been represent. I think it might have been like maybe Mexico and USA. I think it was Japan. Was it Japan? Okay. I don't know. Anyways. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah. Um, yeah, did you want to do um, our tipping before we finish up? No. No? No. No, you're just going to just let let the system pick for you, hey? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to do my tips. <laughs> Just because you don't want to, doesn't mean I don't have to. Okay, I'm doing my tips. AFL tipping. Okay. I'm going to dissociate. Last week, Bye. I was four for nine. That sucked. That was dreadful. All right. Let's make this better. Um, okay, I have to go Essendon. It's the rule. Um, uh, yeah, we go Gold Coast. We will go... GWS, I will go Brisbane, Brisbane, over Collingwood at the MCG, yeah, I think I like it, and probably, like at that point, just knocks Collingwood straight out of finals contention, boom, they're gone, um, Geelong, I will take, uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to be really wild, I'm going to take North Melbourne over Bulldogs. How do you do? You like that one? Like what? Do you like me taking North Melbourne over Bulldogs? I couldn't care less. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. I don't want to be here anymore. I feel like I need to if I want to just get like the prize money. I'm not really. I don't really care about perfect weeks at this point. Just prize money. <laughs> uh, Hawthorne over Richmond. They're clearly the number one team in the league. And we'll go West Coast over Carlton by. Let's go 15 points. So, yeah, with that being said, um, just want to give everyone a bit of a breakdown as to what's happening with the AFL. Where is it? I have a document somewhere. Oh, here it is. So, I was going through all the team, all the team records. Sorry, all the teams that can make finals... Potentially, this season, as of the end of round 22. And I've been looking at the points for and against, what their record is, and so on. Um, so since, and this is just since round 14. And I'm, in a way, it's a bit biased. Um, mainly because this is when Hawthorne have started to kind of show a lot of potential. But I just wanted to kind of put them in perspective with regards to the other teams in the league. And over nine weeks, like, you know, your data isn't, like, totally skewed. It's not like you were just gathering your data over three weeks sort of thing. Like, this is data over nine rounds. So, over the last nine rounds, um, we'll just go with... Um, the current standings of teams. So over the last nine rounds, Sydney are four and five. 
and they have a 99.36 point percentage. Um, yeah, it's not great. Uh, Carlton, over the last nine rounds, they had a buy somewhere in there, so their record is 3-5, and five, but their point percentage is 103.59. It's pretty bad. Um, Frio are 5-4. and four. Their record is... Sorry, their point percentage is 108.59. Still not that great. Geelong's record over the last nine, they've got... They had a buy in there as well um, at 109.75 point percentage. GWS, 6-2. and two, um, Like Geelong, 6-2. and two, And their point percentage is basically identical at 110. Now... I've got one in here that has Port Adelaide with Mitch Geordiatis. Because without Mitch Geordiatis, they are dreadful. They're like, what are they? I think they're like, what, 5 and 4 or something with a 122, sorry, with a 110 point percentage or something like that. With Mitch Geordiatis, they're a 122.52 point percentage. <laughs> so they're really good when they've got Mitch Geordiatis healthy. Um, yeah. Bulldogs are 124 point percentage with a 6-2 record. Brisbane, 8-1 at 132 point percentage. This is the fun one. This is the one that we love, right? Hawthorne have a 6-2 record because they had a buy. And their point percentage is 153.6. I feel like we're just not taking Hawthorne seriously enough just because of where they're sitting on the ladder. Plus also, like, their point percentage on the ladder. Do you know what I mean? This is a 153 point percentage. They are playing finals, and they are getting past elimination. And it won't even be close. I think Hawthorne could potentially be the best team in the league. (laughs) Flag Hawk. Right? Anyways, there's still plenty of finals to be played. Um, Plenty of exciting things to unravel on a week-to-week basis, but my goodness, Hawthorne just look way too fun to not be playing finals. I I have this, like, sneaky suspicion it'll be like a Hawthorne GWS final. But, yeah. What are your thoughts, babe? Bed? Mm -hmm. All good, then. So, with that being said, um, yeah. Stay tuned, there'll be another episode released this week. But yeah, until then, uh, always remember, uh, back the underdog.